Well, I don't know. Don't All feel right. bad. Nobody recognizes so me. You've had, you've dated football players. You've dated actors. You've dated wrestlers. I'm going to name some people. Can you just tell us a little story and okay. what you feel about them? Uh, oh, I'm going to yeah. do a little well, uh, round robin. A list. Oh, yeah. John Tatum. Oh my God! I, well, I loved Hollywood John Tatum, and I, you know, I made the mistake of breaking up with him and going with Eddie because I think me and Johnny could have gone really far together. Wow! Because I think he was a really good talent. He had the best expressions, facial expressions. And Forget stuff. about the wrestling part of it, though. Your personal uh -huh. relationship was better. Yeah, I mean, I think we we I think our our timing, our our chemistry was better than me and Eddie working together. What made you leave him for Eddie? I don't know. Just happened. It just happened. Eddie was exciting. Yeah, I guess so. Must have been something going on How there. How did that affect Tatum when you, you did it? He Ooh. didn't like it. It, it. it messed up everything for all of us. Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm. Now, I'm not saying you dated all these guys. I'm just naming. Oh, I know. Okay. I know. Right. I know. Steve Austin. Oh, my God. I love Steve. Steve says my Gucci bag is the greatest gimmick in wrestling, and I love that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and, it, and it's such a compliment because I think I think he – I knew he was going to be money when I first saw him with Jeannie, well, with Lady Blossom, you know, and he came out, and I was like, that guy's going to be money so one day. So you knew he was going to be money. Yeah. Did you think like, he would money. be the kind of star that – I mean – Well, might... I never thought he'd be that kind of a star, but I knew he was going to be money. Wow. Yeah. How, do you, how do you feel about his abuse towards women? I didn't know he had abuse towards women. Yeah, it's been documented. Lady Blossom, one of them. Um, she Deborah did? Deborah McMichael. Yeah, sure. I didn't He's know that. He's gotten physical with a couple of them. And this is just me reading stuff, and this isn't dirt sheet stuff. This what? Is, this is true. What? This is true stuff. Okay, right. so you didn't know. I didn't know. Well, wow. Can't answer what you don't know. Yeah. yeah. I don't Jake know either. Roberts. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, an emphatic... <laughs> I, I did got? cocaine the first time with Jake, and did Halcyon the first time with Jake, and did whatever else the first time with Jake. Did Damien do the drugs too with you guys? Who? Damien the snake. Before. I'm allowed oh, to be no. silly. This is where he didn't have Damn a it. snake when I dated him. No he snake for J snake. Jake without no. a snake. He, he, he introduced you to the drug world, Jake Roberts. Yeah. Did yeah. he ever tell you stories about his father and his abusive father? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right. I knew all about his dad and about his sister and the family and what would you say because he would get all fucked up and tell me stories <laughs> great and were you just like i gotta get out of this mess no no i felt mess? bad for him i felt bad for him you know you can't you can't get you can't be mad you can't run from somebody just because they have mm. that in their family you know there that you that's go. happened gotcha. to them no, you gotta go. jake a good soul be there i mean you know public perceptions can get yeah he's 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 a good-hearted person cool so cool. he's a good man yeah cool Fans are asking, were you married to Eddie Mansfield? No. So why does so why does everybody everybody keep says that, that you me married? and Eddie because me and Eddie told everybody that we we got married. <laughs> you see what you did? We but we did. <laughs> now everybody thinks. How did so. you? So you were friends with Eddie? <laughs> yeah. How did you feel when he came out on 2020 and exposed the business? Oh my God, I was working. In I was working in Debbie's in world class, and I was like embarrassed. You're like, I don't because I this knew client. him. I was like, I don't know that guy. I don't know. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How I don't know who he is. How far? <laughs> That's great. Else, yeah. How far after that did you speak to him after we? Did you ever speak to him after? Oh that? yeah, I, mean, I just talked to him a couple weeks ago. Uh, what'd you What'd you tell him when it first? What are you, an idiot? What'd you just do? <laughs> no, no, I never even said anything to him about that. Is that guy crazy? Yeah, he's crazy. He's crazy, right? He's crazy. Got to be to do. I hear him on interviews. I'm like, what's wrong with this dude? <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. Like, a lot of these wrestlers just out of their mind. Yeah. Why? Oh yeah, you gotta be. Just yeah. living again. You gotta be. You gotta yes. be to take bumps on your head like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, One of know. our favorites, Buff Bagwell. Ah. Oh well, I'm the reason he's in wrestling. You're the reason for the stuff. He was stuff? my neighbor. Wow. And um. He came to me one day. He's like, hey, my brother wants to know how to get into wrestling. And I'm like, well, why don't you get into wrestling? He's like, really? You think I could? And I'm like, yeah, why not? So I called up one of the guys that was at a school and got him in the school and then took his tape to um, to the people at Global, mm -hmm. Joe Petticino and them. Mm -hmm. And then I took his tape to Jim Barnett because I knew Jim Barnett was going to love him. And Jim Barnett loved him and gave him his first contract in WCW. 
So he had to look just from day yeah, one. Yeah, he had a look. I knew. I, I was like, he he could he should wrestle. So he's the stuff. By the way, a fan mm -hmm. out there, Davio B says mm -hmm. that you dated Greg Valentine. So if you dated Greg Valentine, I didn't date you've Greg got a Valentine. <laughs> that is so. First of all, that's mean to my favorite wrestler ever, Greg Valentine. You're mean. Second of all, I've got a chance. Anyway, next. Oh my God, she hasn't thrown anything at me yet. So so far, so you know, good. Missy. I got to tell you, did you think you'd get hit on by two hosts? A little different than what you used to. Right? Just, I said, these two I, old men are just going to hit on you. Yeah, the okay. show is over. What? what? I'm probably older than you, so that's okay. <laughs> oh, no. If you oh. are, you look better than us. That's <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, both of us combined times 30. Next. <laughs> Tommy Wildfire Rich. Oh, oh, my God. Well, let me tell you, Tommy Wildfire Rich in 1981 was the hottest thing. He was Mr. Cable TV. Yes. Yes, he was. Oh, yeah. First yes, low job was. I ever gave. Holy shit! <laughs> Wait a minute. That lucky Wait. motherfucker! <laughs> what are you talking? This is what makes trouble in the show. This is what I makes Monty the Pharaoh kick ass. What are you talking I want, about? No, no. I want you to understand something. What? I'm All answering right. fans sometimes, so I'm kind. You know, I'm not. I'm stimulated. What? But, but all of a sudden, you hear that, you're like, what, what, what? what did that, that was awesome. Let's go back. You gave Tommy Rich a blowjob. First time, yeah, I ever gave a blowjob was to Tommy Rich. Did you, you enjoy it? Did I think he, so. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, did he enjoy it? Are you insane? I, 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 He's listen, got good teeth, ask, right? And no how, body odor. How does it happen? Beautiful woman. How does you it, go, hey, Tommy, how does can it I give happen? you a blowjob? Like, <laughs> how does it yeah. happen like that? How does it no, work? it didn't happen like that. We give were in the car chart. together, and I don't know what happened. We were in the car together <laughs> making out, and then the next thing I know, I was... Nice. Nice. Here comes the wildfire. Yeah. Was Tommy, nice. Tommy Wildfire is the wild What? Fire. Yeah. Oh, wild my fire. God. You know what? That's. Uh, I want to know this because. I'm on board. Way I, to go, Tommy. I believe in love. You Was Tommy Rich a good kisser? I don't remember that. <laughs> she no. doesn't. She, doesn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> she remembers the wildfire. Right, I'm going to get want? you with this one. <gasps> no. Okay. No, Buzz this one. Sawyer. I don't like this one. Buzz Sawyer. Buzz I'm not a Sawyer. I'm not a fan oh of my Buzz God! I haven't heard that name in a long I know, I time. Thought that would yeah, I haven't bit. heard that name in a Do long time. Do you think time. of cocaine right away? Yeah, exactly. Well, I think of mounds and mounds of cocaine. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's great. With a with a young Undertaker chasing him down the block because he stole his money from him and used it on coke. Oh there my we go. God! Did oh you my know God! That? I didn't know that story. Well, hey, our guests come to learn something too. And I got to like you, Missy. Thank you for the laugh. I needed it. That was that was fairly priceless. All right, what do you got? See, I have a little advantage. I've read this oh, yeah, wonderful book. book. Again, you can get this on Captain's Corner, right? And yeah. Little sign, yeah. But also well, you could order it from Corner. Amazon. And you'll be signing it for the fans who order it? Yeah. Oh. It'd be fantastic. I got to tell you. Scott Putsky. Oh. oh, God. it's He was like driving a Volkswagen. It was like, <clears throat> like, like driving a Volkswagen that looked like a Ferrari. Wow. That's rough. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like Polish power is completely run out of power. Uh, yeah, no, there is no ago, Polish power. That's I worked good. with a lady, and I came up with this idea, and I never did it. One, another failure by me. But it was a doll, <laughs> and it was called the demasculizer, right? So whenever a woman demasculizer, you'd hit the head, and it would demasculize. It would have a saying like, wow, something like that. All it's right. like, that's fairly creative. Driving a Ferrari. Right? No, I driving a Volkswagen, Volkswagen that looks like, like a, Ferrari. a Ferrari. That is rough. Bam. Damascus. That's rough. <laughs> Why? What was wrong with Mr. Putsky? He was just a loser. I mean, he was such a loser. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Oof. Boys, boys! Really? I mean, that would he, be Ivan. He, he, was, yeah, he would sit there and go. I don't know why The Rock is getting all the attention. My daddy was. My dad was. You know, Ivan Putsky, and 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 I should be getting a push, and he shouldn't be getting a push. Like his father wasn't as famous as my dad, <laughs> and stuff oh like that. God. And I'm just like, well, maybe if you could do an interview, right? You know, right. you said and maybe that if to you, him? yeah. Holy I go, you need to practice your interviews, yeah. and you can't work. Yeah. Did you let him know his father couldn't talk either? Because his father couldn't talk. Either. Oh yeah, his father. Did you meet talk a father? Either. Did you meet his father? Yeah, his father was very nice. Was he nice? Yeah, he's very nice. He didn't try to show you his Polish hammer. No, no. no was he not. full of himself though? <laughs> no. Yeah. Ivan was cool. Really? Yeah, Ivan okay. was really cool. Cool enough. Oh, okay, all right. Val Venus. <laughs> <laughs> boy, oh boy. By the way, except for Scott Pusky, most of you guys have been on the show, so please, let's talk about Mr. Uh, Venus. Yeah. What did he say about me? Oh, I, I um, don't, what did he say? He said things about her? He said that he gave you the best sex of your life. Right? Ah, yeah, right. <laughs>
Can I please? I've been practicing this one for her. <laughs> Hello, limp dick. <laughs> so Val Venus. No, Val Venus. Just that you know. <laughs> when you think that the. I'm stuttering. I, <laughs> well, he was so you know, apparently so. Oh, I'm embarrassed. God. It was hello, it was rough, huh? Ladies. It was rough. <laughs> let, let, hello. When he was ready to like, sleep with you, did he come in and go hello? No, he didn't towel? do any of that. <laughs> he didn't do this. No, no, he didn't that? do any of that. Didn't wow. do any of that. He didn't okay. go hello, ladies. Nothing. Right. I was just like. <laughs> What, do he give you a bad weed? He likes weed. What, do he give you yeah, like commercial yeah. weed or something? This is no, terrible. No, didn't give me any bad weed. <laughs> he just gave you bad sex. <laughs> That's terrible. Of all of that bad weed. Your dating history, <laughs> your marriage life, and it doesn't have to be anybody famous. Uh -huh. hmm. Who was the most influential male of wow. your life? Okay. Oh, my dad. Nice. Yeah. Tell us about your dad. My dad? Oh, my gosh. He was just a good guy. I mean, he bought me so many cars because I kept wrecking them when I turned 16 and um, he was just a smart man he would he would he would have done anything for me and I know there's two males that have loved me unconditionally and one was my dad and one was my dog Jake nice. my Jack Russell Jake nice. so that I, I know that have truly loved me so can't get better than that man All right.